Tamara? Mara? Ladies and uh, gentlemen, Ambassador <coughs> Nao Gilon, Director of the University of Trey Rome, Mario Paniza, my friend Professor David Magnaggi, and Michael uh, Zafati. Thank you all to, uh, of course, Professor LaBlanca and uh, <coughs> Professor Maurice Romani. They will be uh, later on uh, this uh, session. I'm a little excited uh, to open these opening sessions because uh, I think that it's about one and a half year of preparations that are coming to an end, and finally we are here together, and we have, as you all know, very much, uh, very big difficulties to find uh, enough scholars that are working on these very important subjects of Italy, of Italy and Italian Jews in colonial territories during Second World War. This is why, or, or, this is one of the reasons why we decided to make these special workshops on these topics because we wanted to encourage the research regarding these uh, this, uh, topics. Uh, this is part of cooperations between uh, the university, Trey University, and the uh, friendships with Professor David uh, Magnaggi, to whom I want, of course, thanks about his hospitality and all the work that we did together. And it began first with uh, Dr. Lignania Picciotto and uh, Michele Zarfati, yes, uh, from uh, Milano. We thought at the first time it will be there, but we decided uh, to, to bring it to uh, Rome. I think it's very important. I want to thank also to the organizations of uh, Libyan Jewry, World Libyan Jewry in uh, Oyuda in Israel for their generosity to help us to uh, have this, to, to make these uh, uh, workshops uh, uh, at this, uh, uh, what we are seeing to, uh, this evening, and mainly to Professor Maurice Romani that helped us very much with the connections with these uh, organizations. Of course, our institute at the Ben Svi, uh, the Ben Svi Institute at uh, Jerusalem, that is one of the partners of this uh, organization of this uh, evening. I want to thank to the uh, Tamar uh, Fuchs and Marabi Giovanni, they are here. I think that without their devotion to uh, the organizations of these workshops, nothing was uh, happened uh, this night. I don't know that I have the appropriate words how to thank them uh, to this uh, evening. So just one more, uh, another word, and then I will give the time to the other important guests that we have uh, to get tonight, that we are at the center of the commentation of uh, North African Jewry during Second World War. We are celebrating this uh, year, 10 years of, of the foundations of uh, our center. And uh, during these 10 years, we organized, this is the third one, we organized three workshops on the topics of North African Jewry during Second World War. The first one was at the Holocaust Museum, Holocaust uh, Memorial uh, Museum at Washington. The second, was, the second one was in 2012 at the Memorial de la Shoah uh, in Paris. And we have the pleasure to be here tonight and have the hospitality of Trey uh, University. So it, for us, it's really a big excitement that we are here tonight and we are doing this special uh, evening. So uh, I am the chair of the session of the greeting and then I will give to Professor LaBlanca, to whom I want to thank very much that he made the efforts to come this evening and to chair the second part of this uh, evening. So thank you very much, Professor LaBlanca. And now I will invite His Excellency, uh, the Ambassador, of Israel in Italy, Mr. Naor Gilon, to give his greeting. Good evening, everyone. It's really a pleasure being here. Uh, I would like to thank Rettore uh, Mario Panizza, uh, a friend, uh, for hosting us here. Um, and thank you for the invitation for this uh, initiative. You know that the issue of the Holocaust in Europe is a very well-known and researched issue uh, in all around the world, but the issue of what happened to the Jews outside of Europe uh, is much less known also in Israel. Uh, this is part, 
uh, of the reason that Israel in the Knesset, uh, the parliament in 2014, has decided to, uh, uh, to designate November 30 as a national day for Jewish refugees. Uh, we call it the Jewish Refugee Day. And uh, since that happened, we as an embassy every year are doing an academic event uh, to commemorate and to tell the story of these people. Last event, uh, we had Professor Saadun here uh, to discuss the issue of uh, especially the, uh, the Jews of Trip Tripoli. Uh, the story is that unknown story is that during, because of events that happened in the Second World War and then after the Second World War, uh, towards the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, a total of uh, 850,000 Jews has to, had to, uh, some willingly, some forced, had to leave uh, the different Arab countries, uh, North Africa, Middle East, Persian Gulf. Uh, many of them went to Israel, by the way. Some of them uh, from North Africa came also to Italy, as we well know. Uh, and I think that the last issue I would uh, mention today is that uh, we are now commemorating also uh, 75 years we are marking to the Farud, to the riots that were done to the Iraqi uh, Jews in 1941, uh, in which over 180 Jews were killed and 1,000 people injured in Baghdad. Uh, and I think uh, we are not speaking of North Africa, we're speaking of Italy, but uh, when we speak of the wider topic, I think it's relevant to mention. So. I thank you very much for being here, and I wish everyone a very fruitful uh, workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador uh, Gilon. And now I'll give the floor to uh, Professor Mario Paniza, Director of the Rome Trey University. And again, we want to thank you very much for your hospitality here at your university. Thank you. It's a great pleasure for me to have uh, you here, and uh, as you told before, a friend, Mario Panizza, I can consider you a real friend. That's uh, much more than one year that we uh, met the first time, and I visited your country, your invitation, and I spent there uh, 10 days, uh, very, very interesting. I visited a lot uh, of uh, universities, uh, and uh, in uh, that uh, occasion, I could uh, realize uh, a cooperation. So the next September, some students uh, from uh, uh, Israel and uh, other countries uh, of Mediterranean area can come here and stay here for a residential seminar of five weeks and uh, from the University of Jerusalem uh, University and uh, Hebrew University. So eight students and it's a really a great pleasure for us because uh, as a rector I would like to underline that the, our, my university is uh, very interested and particularly involved in international relationships about a lot of arguments and principle in this case research and cooperation on anti-semitism and racism this is a, 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 a job that we want to uh, and we want uh, to go on uh, on uh, this uh, argument. Uh, during the last 20 years, uh, we invited uh, many Israel scholars uh, as visiting professors, uh, and uh, we had uh, uh, a continuous relationship with, uh, 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 with the uh, university. And a few days ago, it has been delivered in Tau, a scientific meeting in memory of Professor Bonaventura, an important Italian scholar that left Italy after the racist law. And uh, I think, uh, according with uh, uh, Professor Magnaggi, we, can, uh, we want to celebrate uh, this occasion uh, with uh, important uh, recognition of uh, 
uh, this uh, 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 Italian uh, Italian uh, scholar, and uh, I uh, uh, consider that uh, the master where we have uh, this occasion, this meeting is uh, very important uh, for Rome three, and uh, uh, I am very happy for uh, another reason because. Uh, uh, when uh, I saw you before, a few minutes, a few minutes before, we decided uh, informal decision, but to have uh, an important exhibition in Rome, uh, and uh, we decided last year that uh, in uh, 2019 uh, will be 10 uh, hundred years uh, of uh, uh, Bauhaus an important uh, school in uh, Germany and uh, surely in uh, uh, Israel, in Tel Aviv, as the most important uh, Bauhaus city. So we can prepare, we have uh, three years, uh, two years and a half to prepare uh, uh, this uh, important uh, exhibition and, and uh, if we can uh, begin with uh, anticipating the, this exhibition uh, during this year and in the beginning of the next year, uh, uh, 2017, I think that we can organize a very, very important international meeting. According Italy, uh, Israel, uh, 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 Gate Institute, uh, the Ambassade of Germany, and uh, another important uh, Italian school, that the Academy of Mendrisio, an important uh, 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 school uh, between Italy and Swiss, where the uh, study of uh, architecture of that period is very, very important. And Bauhaus is very important even for the type of school because uh, 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 I, I studied uh, 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 Bauhaus when I was uh, a student, so much more 40 years ago, and now we have the organization of university with uh, three years and two years, so bachelor and master, like in the 1919, so three plus two, like in Bauhaus. So I think that it's very important for architecture, art, music, and academy school. Thank you very much for your visit. Thank you very much, Professor Paniza, for your warm words and very interesting words. And now I have the pleasure to invite my friends, uh, Professor David Magnaggi, who is the chair of the International Master Program of Holocaust Studies at Rome Trey uh, University, to give his words. Oh, thank you very much. I am very glad to, to be here with you in, in our university. And I hope, and I am sure, it is a first occasion to develop cooperation also with Ben Tzvi Institute. We are going to uh, create a, a long cooperation, a strict cooperation with Tao, but I think it is important, and this is an occasion, informally we spoke about that, and the rector agrees with that opportunity, and also with the University of Haifa and Ben-Gurion. So it, it, it will be interesting to create a network of universities, also against the this tragic moment in the Middle East, in the Mediterranean area, we need cooperation. We need academic cooperation. Uh, we need cooperation between the two sides of the Mediterranean uh, Sea. It is important as a part of our uh, activity against racism, against anti-Semitism, but also for cooperation and peace. We need peace. And peace, you have to build it, day after day. With vision of the future, capacity of dream, and also sense of uh, dignity, and in the same time, the sense of the limit. How to create cooperation, it is very hard, but it is a challenge for all of us, for the future of all of us, for the future of Italy, of course, and not also of Italy, for all the people of the Mediterranean area. Second, uh, we organized it 12 years ago, three days of study 
about uh, the concentration camps in all Europe, but one session was dedicated to Libya, Tunisia, Morocco, and the Middle East. So it happened for the first time in the Italian universities, and President Scalfaro was here with us because he was the president of the Association for the Memory of the Republic, and he was here. And I remember many people came from Yad Vashem, from Ben Gurion University, also Maurice was here with us, and you, I remember. So it is a long time that uh, we are working on that. And so to develop a cooperation with Ben Tzvi, it is a second step. It is important also because AIHRA, the International uh, Remembrance Holocaust uh, Association, began to put attention on that aspect, but for a long time. I, I was a member from a long time, just two years they began to, to develop research thanks to Ben Svi Institute and other colleagues working there. Um, to, to, to have a reflection, a considerations about the persecution of the Jews in all the colony of Italy, the colonies of Italy between 38 and 45, it is very important also to understand the present. Many aspects of the present are coming from the past. We have to connect the present with the past and in the same time, not to be prisoner of the past. We have to create freedom also for our past. This is an activity of the researcher, of the historian, and also to build a, a different future for the future, future generations. Thank you very much. And thank you for all the people came uh, here today for our meeting. Thank you very much, Professor Magnaggi. And the last one we will give his greeting is uh, Michaelo Zafati, the director of the Tzedek Foundations. Thank you very much, please. Okay, good morning. Ambassador of Israel, Naor Gilon, Professor Haim Sadun, uh, Professor Mario Panizza, and Professor David Magnaggi, and dear friends, all of you. Uh, Professor Giorgio Sacerdoti, uh, who is the president of the foundation, Jewish Contemporary Documentation Center, Chudek, asked me to bring you his greetings. I'm honored to be here. The Chudek Foundation is the main Italian institute for the study of Jewish history, culture, and life, particularly in regard to the contemporary period in Italy, to the Shoah and the contemporary antisemitism uh, anti -Semitism today. Uh, the Chudek Foundation has five main activity areas, library, historical archive, photo archive, and we are very interested in the photo of the <laughs> Nunes Weiss family, oral history archive, and also memory written archive, observatory on contemporary antisemitism in Italy. Each area collects documents, publication, photographs, movies, and other materials. Each collection is unique in Italy. Uh, the Chudek Foundation is committed to scientific research and its dissemination. Um, the Chudek Foundation has dealings with Italian educational and research institutes, Italian state agencies, Italian Jewish organizations, Israeli and inter other international research centers on Jewish history and the Shoah. Uh, like Benzvi Institute and like uh, University Roma 3. Uh, Liliana Picciotto, who is here in, uh, in this room, and we are grateful, and I, we are grateful to the Benzvi Institute, Haim, Tamar, Vera, and all the others, for having given us the opportunity of participate to the organization of such an important international workshop. 
with thanks a lot also uh, Uni3, Università di Roma 3, uh, David and all the other for the scientific and technical co cooperation. My opinion, my personal opinion is that the research on the Jews in the former Italian colonial territories are not so advanced as the research on the Jews in the former French territories in North Africa. And I hope that this workshop will be remembered in the future as a new starting point. So, buon lavoro a tutti noi. Thanks. Thank you very much, Michele Zofati, for your words, uh, warm words. I think it's very interesting and it's very important to continue our cooperation. And now I will give the floor to Professor Nicola Lablanca to chair the session. Thank you very much.